honest reviews. Today, I am unboxing the Spin. This machine, uh, I think it was like a Kickstarter, probably back in like 2018 or something like that. It's been around for a little while now, maybe 2020, something, I don't know. Either way, um, it's been around for a little while now, but it works a little bit different than a standard super automatic. And speaking of super automatics, uh, if you were on my uh, other connections, such as Instagram and stuff like that, I did a whole voting system where my followers are able to vote on which super automatic I reviewed next. We had eight different contenders and the spin won. So we've done something like this before and actually that's why we got the Lelite Bianca, which is still today our, our home machine. So can the spin dethrone the Lelite? I don't think so, but I mean, it's too beautiful. Look at that thing. Anyways, let's do some unboxing. We'll do a setup. We'll probably pull a shot. <laughs> My cat's trying to help. She's got pretty good claws, so she might be able to open this for me. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna move some of these chairs around. Let's get in here. Now, I suspect this is going to be a box in a box situation. But we'll see. Now this retails now, I think at like $7.99. So in terms of like a super automatic, it's not bad. The only thing I will say is that it's not most machines, especially really anything above like 400, have some type of um, milk processing. But this doesn't have any. Um, capabilities for that. You have to buy an upgraded version, which gives you a secondary container, which basically just froths milk. You can get one of those on Amazon for like 30, 40 bucks, and you're probably better off. I don't think Spin is doing anything specifically different uh, based on the previous looks that I've given it. Um, and I think there's probably even better products out there uh, that I've seen that give a better latte foam. Anyways, let's uh, take a look. And as I suspected, a box in a box is correct. It does have a handle and I think that that's very nice. Probably for people that actually have a storefront and want to sell this. Uh, I actually really like the handle. That was nice. Made, made removing it a lot easier. Didn't feel super bad. Now this is the pro model. The original one was actually more money um, at the time of purchasing this. So I got the pro. I don't know a huge difference in it but um, we'll, during our full review, I'll kind of give you the, the rundown on that. But anyways, let's keep going. It does kind of open like a shoebox, yeah. Whoa! What is this? That was unexpected. This is getting to be a lot more interesting. There's like these pull tabs here. Okay, I don't even know what to do here. This is the most interesting unboxing. Okay, so, oh, okay. I just keep like opening different, <laughs> different like sections of this box. Okay. Oh, it actually tells you what to take out. Okay, so it says unfold here. <laughs> okay, drip tray. I'm gonna take this out. I think that's the way I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, well, I can pull the water filter out too. Okay, the drip tray, is it gone? I got this out. Does this, yep, oh wow, this is really interesting, the way this is set up. It like self-presents. <laughs> that is some fancy stuff. I must say, the unboxing experience has been pretty fun here. I'm not sure if anybody's seen one of these unboxed. I actually haven't, but this is a very cool unboxing experience. Okay, um, let me, ooh, yeah, let me just pull this off. Yep, there we go, ooh, there's something else in here, a tube. Oh, I think it looks like you can actually, that's, for $7.99, this pro, maybe this is a pro upgrade type thing, but it looks like you can actually uh, plumb this directly in, which, nice touch for that price range. 
Um, a lot of super automatic machines in general you can't plumb in. So, oh man, this is even perforated. I mean, I don't know if the machine's nice, but I'll tell you what, the unboxing experience has been very pleasant. A lot of nice little touches, uh, a lot of cool little features just in the box. Um, so whoever innovated on the unboxing experience, great job. All right, so what do we got on top? We got a little QR code. What does it say here? Before you start, install the Spin app. You will need the app to set up your coffee maker. <sighs> Folks, I don't like that. That is annoying, but I think I might try to do it. Um, camera wife, if you have a phone, <laughs> throw it to me. Let's see if we can get this done. This is, this is live, people, so we gotta kinda roll with the punches here. I don't know if this is gonna work, how it's gonna work. It's probably gonna be more of a pain in the butt than it needs to be, but we'll, we'll see. Normally when you have to download an app to get a coffee machine to work, it seems like maybe they're trying to sell you something. Anyways, let's... Uh, Whoa, okay, another cool feature here. So the water tank actually pops out like this and then goes right back in. And then you could also still take it off. This is a really small water tank. That's, I could already tell you that that's gonna be an issue for me, but. Let's see if one pitcher fills it. Yeah, one pitcher will almost certainly fill this. I have a pitcher right here. Let's see, this is not normal. My Mile Elite takes about one and a third of the, uh, okay, it's basically just one. It's not even a full one either. We didn't have that all the way full, but it is at the line now. So it's about, I think that's like a one and a half liters, something like that. So not massive, but if you're pulling espresso mostly, it's not a big deal. All right, let me turn this thing on. And let's see what we can do. What is that? I don't know. Oh. Is that for like the water or something? Ooh, it's making noises. I think it is for the water. No, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm not going to play with it yet. All right. Okay, connect your spin. Let's see what we got here. Sorry, this is... Not as pleasant as I was expecting to turn it on and just get to use it, but we're gonna find out. All right, so so connect the maker, spin to your Wi-Fi. Is it on? Yeah, okay. Manage and control your coffee maker from anywhere with Alexa. I don't have Alexa, so I'm not gonna do that. Automatic orders, okay, so we're not gonna do that, but Marketplace browsing, coffee scan. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of their set up your spin. Man. Okay. I have to start an account. Give me the drip. Yeah, but it seems like one of their pitches here is that they have a bunch of coffee roasters that they've worked with and that those coffee roasters have one of these machines and that they kind of uh, dial it in per se for this machine. I don't, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I like to use my own coffee. I like my own brands. Um, if some of them, if some of the brands I already buy have one, great. If not, I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy through their website. Oh wow, this is really nice. Feel this. It's like it's almost like rubberized, but also metal. It's like metal coated in rubber. Yeah, that's that's nice. This is just plastic, but that that feels pretty nice. So this is the drip tray. Got to remove some plastic. It is metal coated in rubber. Yeah. Set up your spin. Okay, turn Bluetooth on. It says it's looking for the device. OK, 
Okay, what do we got here? We found your spin coffee maker. Okay, I got to connect it to my Wi-Fi. Not gonna get. Not gonna show you guys that. All right. Um, my person. Choose a name for your coffee maker. I'm just gonna call it Spin. <laughs> okay. It is linking right now. So let's see. Whoop. Let's see how this goes in. It looks like it probably just. Boom, yeah, let's see what else, is there anything in here? Looks like it all pops off pretty easy. It's all plastic, nothing crazy. Um, most super automatics don't give you a lot of metal. I'm actually surprised by this. This feels really nice, and I like the build quality of it. I'm not sure why it's got these little magnetic, oh, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like that you can move that up for espresso. Um, definitely a cool little function. I'm sure you already caught that, but I, I can do it one more time. All right, so this is, this is magnetic and you just kinda, I'm not even looking at this, so there we go. Goes right in. Okay, startup guide, filter water. Next step, next step, next step, next step, next step. Set a 16 ounce cup under the spout. Do we have a 16 ounce cup? I believe we do. Actually, I'll just use my milk pitcher. This is my uh, shout out to uh, MHW Bomber. So, um, empty and place the residue bin to continue. Residue bin? Where's that? I'm not seeing anywhere that says residue bin or where that would be. I'm sure there is one because there has to be coffee going somewhere. Um, There we go, figured it out. I guess I got to take that off. Maybe that's what I had to do, I don't know. Let's find out, let's hit start cleaning. Yep, that was it. This is a quiet pump. Pretty quiet, right? Yeah. So as this is cleaning, I'm gonna explain what makes this espresso machine uh, very different, and I probably why some of my viewers were interested in it. I've been interested in it myself, um, so uh, yeah, I guess, uh, let me explain. This, it grinds and tamps, well actually, I'm not even sure if it really tamps anything. It basically just grinds into uh, a, a cup of sorts, a little like brewing chamber, and then it uses centrifuge, so it spins, hence the name spin. So it's spinning at like a super high RPM, maybe a thousand RPM or something like that, to uh, provide a sort of crema-like experience. I've had, the only other machine that does something like this is the Nespresso, the next generation Nespresso machines. And for a pod system, I don't think they're bad. Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, most, most of the coffee out of those are way over roasted and probably old coffee. But again, it's a pod system and it does a kind of interesting job. Um, it's not unpleasant, I kind of like it, but it's definitely different. So we're gonna see how this does with actually grinding it. So basically this is, in my opinion, like the newer generation of Nespresso machine, except it has its own grinder built in. Stay on there. It is downloading an update. Okay. Updating our coffee machine. That is, I guess something the Elite could do. I don't think it does it very often. I think you have to uh, manually do that with like a USB drive. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming along pretty good. Let's see, how does this water come out? Yep. 
it's not hot, so it didn't heat it by any means. Um, and the water chamber is still pretty full. I do like on the back here, you can see a little bit. There's, I wish maybe it, there was a light in here or something. Maybe a UV light would be great in here if they were trying to do some tricks to mm -hmm. keep the water cleaner longer, a little UV light, and that way you can maybe see. Or even just like a floater. A floater would be great, but maybe a floater and a UV light. Because that's one thing with a lot of um, espresso machines that you have to fill up, as you know, um, is you have to kind of clean those every once in a while because they do, they get a little funky, you know? They have like almost, I don't know if it's algae necessarily, but it has like kind of that like a film that gets, you know, layered in there. So, all right, so this is almost done. I want to at least make one shot with you. So yeah, we're, we're pretty close. Um, yeah, I'll flip this around. Let's see what we have up here. So, okay, so this goes up and out, okay. It's clean up here. So it uses a, yeah, not, not a surprise here, it uses a, um, it doesn't use a flat bird grinder, it's using a conical bird grinder. Um, and I don't actually see any way to change the settings on it. Maybe that's what this little thing is. I think it is. Maybe? I don't know. I don't want to screw with it. It doesn't, it doesn't turn very easy, so I kind of doubt that's what this is for. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't say anything here. So I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> My guess is if they're truly dialing it in with other companies um, that the grind size would differ based on having a hard time getting these magnets to line up. The grind size I would think would differ um, based on the, the different, you know, companies that they would be, um, you know, dialing it in for. But, you know, it is what it is. This has taken a little longer than I was expecting. Still kind of stuck here, but we'll see. Yeah, I was going to use this. This is friend zone. I don't know if I, I don't think I've reviewed this yet. Um, I just got it in not that long ago. It's a decaf um, for all my decaf lovers out there. I like to do some decaf here and there. I know one of my followers, Linda, she, I think exclusively drinks decaf and I have some other friends and, and stuff and that prefer decaf or do a mix. My sister even does like a, I think it's a blend of like 30% caffeinated and 60 70 percent decaf or whatever so we gotta get to play around with it anyways we'll try that it still says downloading i might i might have to cut it short unfortunately i wonder if it'll let me brew something while we're here let's look at these lights here so i'm assuming this is an espresso uh, I'm assuming this is a water indicator. Probably the the bin is full. What is this? Oh, drip tray. Clean the drip tray, maybe. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I don't know what this little guy would be. Ooh. What is that? Predetermined drinks. Oh, maybe that's what it is? Yeah, like something that you've made before. I don't, uh, that's an interesting one. I'm not sure how that would work. Um, what happens if I just hit this? All right. <laughs> it's, I don't have any uh, coffee in there, but. It's doing something. It thinks it's doing something. I'm gonna just. Throw a little bit in there. I don't think it grind. Did it grind anything? It didn't sound like it grinded anything. It's definitely doing the centrifuge thing. 
Yeah, it's spinning. It's spinning something, but it's not spinning. So it must have grind. Gr must have done some grinding of coffee, but not exactly sure how much. Because it didn't seem like it was very long. Well, there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's see if we can, uh... oh gosh. Whoa, we're getting coffee. Ooh, it likes to dance a little bit there. Still pretty quiet machine. That cup is rolling. I know, it really is. Maybe use a little bit of a... All right, that's a pretty good size espresso, nothing crazy. The crema seems a little flat. At least there's crema. There is crema, but it does seem a little flat. I would have expected, uh, from what I've heard, these centrifuge machines normally make a lot of crema, so I'm a little surprised this doesn't have that much. It's pretty quiet though. Okay, what do you think? Out of 10. 10 being the quietest. Like an eight. It's pretty up there. Yeah, eight, she said if you didn't hear. Actually. It'd be even quieter if you put the lid on when it was grinding. Yeah, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna put a little bit more. Let's do one more and see. Does it say anything about like, yeah, let's try a, a heavier cup. Does it say anything about making your own drinks and stuff, or no? Or like making it grind longer, or? Because that really felt, this doesn't feel a lot like an espresso. I mean, again, this is a totally different type of, so this, this just says beans. I don't know if there's a way to, I wonder if I put a big cup and then end it early. No? Why not? Oh, okay, let's do this. If I... I don't know what that would... I don't know what these mean. <laughs> I'm gonna try a big cup and then put it and just try to end it, end it quicker. That way we can, uh, we can have a little bit more coffee in in the uh, in the blend because this feels a little weak if I'm being honest it doesn't taste bad it's a little weak it's a little thin yeah it's on unless that was supposed to be the front but I don't think it was just was supposed to be the front Maybe, yeah. Yep. It seemed like that maybe did grind a little longer. What do you, what do you think? I don't know. Less crema. It is less crema. You did a bigger cup. Yeah, there's like almost no crema on that one. All right. The cup did not move as much. No, it didn't. That's a heavier cup, so that makes sense. Well, we'll see. We'll we'll say it that way. I uh, first impressions. First impressions of the machine here. I I I don't actually mind the design. It's pretty small in terms of uh, its footprint on the ground. It's a little tall, but it's not, it's really not that big of a machine all in all. Um, the coffee is eh right now, but we'll see if we can kind of get some better settings, get it dialed in better. It looks like it's still, is it still updating? It's in the same exact spot. Yeah, a little, little confused on that. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll end it and restart it. So, um, 
And I'm glad I didn't have you sitting here waiting while we're trying to get this because it really didn't do much. But it still let us make a shot. And like I said, this is not that great. I know this. I've had this coffee in my Lolite and I've been able to pull great creme out of it. Um, decaf is a little bit harder. I'll try some standard, but um, so far, interesting idea. So far, not a very good execution yet, at least in my opinion. Um, we will, again, do some more testing, figure some stuff out. What is it saying now? It says, time out during software update. So when we try again, it'll start updating, but then it'll time out almost immediately again. Okay, so fun times with a startup copy machine. We're gonna, <laughs> but updating your spin starting. Okay, what is it saying? Starting timeout during software. Make sure your coffee maker is plugged in and try again. It might be that we made coffee. We'll restart it, we'll, we'll figure it out. If it doesn't do it, I'll definitely leave that in the review. Um, but uh, does anybody have questions for me? Um, you know, does anybody have any uh, questions on this machine or maybe you want me to review a different machine? Throw them in the comments. We can chat about it a little bit. Um, anyways, overall, cool idea. Not 100% yet on the execution. My first little impression here is that it it doesn't seem to make super great espressos. Again, that's what I mostly focus on. I, I could see this maybe making pretty good coffee, but again, we'll find out uh, in the full review. I'll keep using this as a daily driver for probably maybe a week, and then we will uh, give you a full review of it. Uh, definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. I remember I buy all these machines myself, so definitely helps a lot if I get some more subscribers and uh, get these videos uh, brought uh, higher up on the algorithm with those thumbs. So we'll catch you in the next video and I appreciate it. See you later.